Welcome everybody to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Happy Sat Stack and Saturday. Let's get it. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis as well as a target for the next cycle top of $137,000 in August 2024. And quoting the high priest of Bitcoin, Max Kaiser, fiat money always leads to war. Bitcoin always leads to peace. Fiat money monetizes war. Bitcoin monetizes peace. Fiat money equals hate and fear. Bitcoin equals peace and love. Fiat money is hell. Bitcoin is heaven. Choose wisely. Also in today's show, did you know Bitcoin is 2023's best performing asset amongst 40 wealth classes? That's right. Also, Joe Rogan says Bitcoin can become a universal currency. We'll be breaking down what that likely looks like, as well as the US SEC will probably approve all the spot Bitcoin ETFs at the same time within the next three to six months, says X BlackRock Managing Director. We'll also be discussing Bitcoin poise to more than double every year, says Pantera Capital CEO Dan Moorhead, as well as spot Bitcoin ETFs can send Bitcoin price skyrocketing by over 3,200% to $920,000 per coin, says Invest Answers. I'll be breaking down his timeline. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more in today's show. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, you'll receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And if you gain value out of today's show, the greatest compliment you can do is smash that like button as it helps out tremendously with a YouTube algorithm. And welcome everyone just joining us. This is pod episode number 1424. I'm your host, JV, and today is October 7th, 2023. Let's kick off today's show with our market watch as we do each and every day. We can see the majority of the crypto market currently correcting back in the red. Bitcoin unable to recapture 28,000 and remain above as we're currently just under that level. We also have Ether correcting, BNB, XRP, Solana, and Cardano. And checking out coinmarketcap.com, we're currently sitting at 1.09 trillion as far as the market cap with roughly 18 billion in volume in the past 24 hours with a Bitcoin dominance on the climb just under 50% at 49.9% precisely according to coin market cap with the ether dominance on the decline at 18% and my question for all of you how high do you think the bitcoin dominance is likely to climb for this cycle do you think we can hit 60 or even 70% let me know your honest thoughts and as you know at the end of the show I'll be reading everyone's comments out loud as this is a live and interactive show and checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past 24 hours we got trust wallet token as the top gainer up 10% trading just over a buck followed by FXS up almost 3% trading at $5.51 followed by DYDX up a modest 2.7% trading just above 2 bucks and checking out uh ultimately cryptobubbles.net. It shows you the top 100 gainers for the past week. You can see most of the top cryptos are actually in the red and correct and with a handful in the red with the top gainers TWT up 9% and PLS up 6.7%. And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, one of my favorite indicators, hence why we share it every day. Currently rated a 49, which is neutral. Yesterday was a 50. Last week, a 47 neutral. And last month, a 41 in fear. So there you have it, fam. How many of you are bullish for Bitcoin here in October? Let me know and let's send this Bitcoin price action to the moon, shall we? Now, welcome everyone once again just joining us. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Now let's dive into today's Bitcoin technical analysis and I have a very bullish target as well to share with you. So let's break this baby down. Bitcoin's price went on a roller coaster in the past 24 hours with moves of up to $1,000 with mostly the altcoin slightly in the green for today, but Bitcoin's dominance had continued to increase and has neared 50%. That's a great sign. I'd say that is the line in the sand for the King Crypto. Now, the business week started on a high note for the primary crypto, which skyrocketed by $1,500 in a day and a half and tapped the six-week peak at just over $28,500. However, that enthusiasm among the community didn't last long, and Bitcoin quickly lost almost all of its momentum, returning back to just over $27,000 and spent the next few days there. Then it tried to surge past $28,000 on a few 
few occasions at the end of the week, but was ultimately stopped with the latest attempt, which came earlier today when Bitcoin spiked to 28350 and this came right before the price drop. Nevertheless, Bitcoin failed there once more and currently sits just around the coveted $28,000 level. Its market cap had soared to $546 billion on coin market cap, and its dominance over the alt had kept increasing to currently 49.9%, which is its highest in weeks. Now let's discuss some of the alts. Uh, Matic. Most altcoins face similar volatility over the past 24 hours, but sit slightly in the green. We have Ethereum, Binance Coin, Ripple, Doge, Bitcoin Cash, and they all just jump by under 1%, and currently they're just correcting. Matic emerged as the top performer, adding 4.5% of value, and currently sits just inches below uh, 60 cents, with most other lower and mid-cap alts trading slightly in the green. The total crypto market cap increased by about $10 billion, sitting just above $1.1 trillion. Now, which altcoins, if any, are you most bullish on? Let me know in the comments below. Now, here's some analysis coming from Titan of Crypto. He wrote, Bitcoin's next cycle top at $137,000. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this prediction. He also says, using the price realized Bitcoin and drawing the trend lines from a cycle bottom to one cycle top after, a potential price target for the next cycle top emerges. And as he points out here alongside this chart, $137,000 and it would occur in August of 2024. Do you believe it's a realistic target? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. I must point out we do have two major bullish catalysts occurring in 2024. Bitcoin having roughly six months out, uh, scheduled to take place sometime in April of 2024. And we also have the approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF in the United States, which can help usher in trillions of dollars into the Bitcoin market. The ETF experts and analysts are predicting roughly a 95% chance that that spot ETF finally get approved. So could you imagine the calm before the storm right around that time of the halving? Send it. And then you got to add the factor that there is a supply shock, which is going to occur as well well, as there's currently less than 2 million Bitcoin sitting on the exchanges. Now, let's take a look what the high priest has to share. Fiat money always leads to war. Preach. Bitcoin always leads to peace. Fiat money monetizes war. Bitcoin monetizes peace. Fiat money equals hate and fear. Bitcoin equals peace and love. Fiat money is hell and Bitcoin is heaven. Choose wisely. Very well said. Shout out to Max Kaiser. His short-term interim target for Bitcoin is $220,000, as I shared in great detail in yesterday's episode. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. Now let's discuss Bitcoin's performance as a top asset class compared to all the other top asset classes and see how it's doing. Let's break this baby down, shall we? In a year marked by economic uncertainty, persistently high inflation, and concerns over rising interest rates, Bitcoin emerge as the star performer. You're damn right. Outperforming other traditional asset classes, this performance by Bitcoin is notable despite the cryptocurrency mostly trading in a consolidation phase. In particular, Bitcoin emerged as a top performing asset class this year in 2023 with gains of 63.3% leading among 40 selected asset classes according to data published by the NYDIG on October 6th. Now amongst these assets, the second best performer is the the U.S. large cap growth with gains of 28.2%. Meanwhile, Bitcoin surpassed other notable assets, including the U.S. stock market, which is at 12.2%, and commodities at 6%, cash at 3.8%, and gold at 1.1%, which you can see here on your screen. Year-to-date 2023 asset class returns with Bitcoin clearly leading the pack as the fastest horse in the race continues. Now, one of the most striking aspects of Bitcoin's performance this year has been its ability to maintain a relatively narrow trading range despite significant external pressures. The digital currency held within the 25,000 to 31,000 range, resisting attempts to break out in either direction. And notably, the year-to-date gains have persisted, although Bitcoin experienced a slowdown in the third quarter where the asset dropped 11.1%. 
percent. But according to this report, this stability has been maintained despite a series of events, including court rulings, macroeconomic shifts, and concerns about a government shutdown, debates about the debt ceiling, and the ongoing efforts to gain approval for a Bitcoin ETF in the United States. And later in the show, we're going to be breaking down Bitcoin ETFs in great detail and where that is likely to take the Bitcoin price action. Now for some Bitcoin drivers for a possible rally. Check it out, quoting the report. Nevertheless, it is important to acknowledge that Bitcoin is largely driven by unique idio. Uh, what is this word? Idiosyncratic factors. Looking ahead, we are optimistic that significant industry developments, such as the potential introduction of a spot Bitcoin ETF and the upcoming halving, which will play a prominent role in driving the Bitcoin value in the future. Exactly my sentiment. The two most bullish catalysts for Bitcoin is the Bitcoin halving and spot ETF approval. So in the meantime, the market is closely monitoring potential price levels that can signal the start of the bull market. I believe the bull market officially started after we hit that bottom in the fourth quarter of last year at 15,007. But let me know your thoughts, chat. And as reported by Finbold, Bitcoin needs to maintain its bull market support level at 24,900. And alongside the ETF news, analysts have been examining short-term catalysts that trigger a brief bull run, such as significant deviation to the upside in the jobs report. And in this context, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported adding 336,000 jobs in September, surpassing economists' forecasts of just 170,000 thousand. The unemployment rate remained unchanged at 3.8%, so they say, defying expectations of a decline of 3.7%. And while this development initially caused a minor drop of the Bitcoin price, the asset has since made slight gains. So there you freaking have it. Now let's discuss the biggest podcaster in the world, which is the Joe Rogan experience and his thoughts and sentiment on Bitcoin becoming what he calls a universal currency and how this would likely impact. Bitcoin, crypto, as well as the price trajectory. So let's break this down. And how many of you listened to this recent podcast with Joe Rogan discussing this? Let me know in the comments right down below. A massive shout out to Joe Rogan on his latest episode of the Joe Rogan Experience. Rogan said that he is bullish on the king crypto and he believes it can become a universal currency. He calls Bitcoin the most fascinating crypto and that it has the best chance of universal implementation. And after this YouTube stream, I'm going to be heading over to Rumble for the uncensored live Q&A party. And I'm going to be doing my react session, which is called JB Reacts. And I'm going to be playing this clip from Joe Rogan's podcast just FYI. But anyways, back to the highlights, as you can see, shared here by Watcher Guru. Just then, Joe Rogan says Bitcoin has the most likely possibility of becoming a universal currency. And let me know if you agree or disagree with Rogan. He was speaking with Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI. Very interesting discussion, fam. He says that uh, the one that has the most likely possibility of becoming a universal viable currency, Bitcoin is leading the crypto scene, as we know, currently trading just shy of 28,000, quoting him here. Here, it is limited in the amount that there can be. People can mine it. And that, to me, is very fascinating, says Joe Rogan. He also comments on people who live their lives with Bitcoin daily. Rogan uses Andreas Antonopoulos, a tech entrepreneur from Greece, as an example of implementing Bitcoin into daily life. Shout out to Andreas Antonopoulos. It was actually him who orange-pilled me. Uh, and quoting Rogan here uh, on Andreas, when he talks about it, he is living it. Everything he pays for is in Bitcoin. He pays his rent in Bitcoin. Everything he does is in Bitcoin. Pretty now, Bitcoin, as we know, is the pioneering crypto asset, has captivated the financial world since its inception, roughly 14 years out. And additionally, it is widely acknowledged that a few entities and individuals wield considerable influence over this digital treasure. Bitcoin has been one of the most profitable assets over the last decade. And according to blockchain.com, out of the 3,597 days, Bitcoin has been profitable for 3,129 days. And a few years ago, Rogan signed a deal where he was paid $100,000 in Bitcoin, which ultimately means Joe Rogan is a Bitcoiner. Now he has had Andreas Antonopoulos on the show many times. I would personally love to see Michael Saylor or Max Kaiser orange pilling Joe Rogan. But what are your thoughts? If you had to choose a nominee for someone to Joe Rogan to interview about Bitcoin, who would it be? 
Would it be me? I would personally, again, nominate either uh, Sailor or Max. I'd love to see either or, but let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And again, shout out to Joe Rogan for bringing more eyeballs and ears on Bitcoin and its capabilities and what it represents because we know it is life-changing. And with that being shared, fam, now let's start discussing these Bitcoin ETFs, shall we? Because this is going to be the big, big, massive game changer, a former executive at Global Invest investment titan blackrock as we all know is the largest asset manager in the world controlling roughly 10 trillion in assets under management they say u.s regulators will likely give their nod to all the spot bitcoin etf applications all at once game theory in full effect fam let's go during a panel discussion at cc data's digital asset summit in london shout out to my uk fam ex blackrock managing director martin bednall who is now the ceo of jacoby asset management says that the u.s securities and exchange commission better known as the sec along with their chairman gary gensler has a compelling reason to green light the applications simultaneously send it let's go quoting him here in terms of the question about a spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States, I think it is going to be hugely positive. And that's because I think the SEC will probably approve all the applications at the same time. Send it. He continues, I don't think they're going to want to give anybody a first mover's advantage. And I think that is because BlackRock is there in the mix and it's a behemoth. They will put a lot of their power behind it in terms of sales and distribution to really make sure they get this sort of go-to ETF, which would be the default ETF. Now, Stephen Schoenfeld, the former managing director of Barclays Global Investors, which was later acquired by BlackRock, interestingly enough, says during the discussion that the SEC's approval will likely happen sooner than he previously anticipated. Let's get it. Quoting him again, two weeks ago, I would have said nine to 12 months away, but sitting here today, I'd say it's closer to three to six months. Let's freaking go, fam. Now, he also is now the CEO of Market vector indexes and says there are signs indicating a positive outlook for a spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States. Quoting him here, it was just last week, the SEC, instead of completely rejecting the whole list, they have actually asked for comments, which is a marginal but significant improvement in the dialogue. There's also the Grayscale lawsuit, which the SEC lost, which means they are most likely to go to have to allow the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which we know as the GBTC product, to be converted into an ETF. I don't think the SEC wants that to happen and then have the ETF filings still waiting and to watch this live stream right here and hear it from the horse's mouth, check the show notes below the video in the description. And what are your thoughts? Do you think the SEC will give any of these major firms the first mover's advantage? I think if a company did get it, it'd probably be BlackRock because they have the most moolah to bribe the SEC. But you also got to consider there's ARC21 who has been on that list before everyone else. There's Gemini, you know, the Winklevoss twins submitted the first ETF spot application to the SEC over a decade ago. And you also got Grayscale that is currently sitting on over 600,000 BTC. And also you got to keep in mind with a spot Bitcoin ETF, they can't manipulate the market because it is true price discovery, ultimately meaning BlackRock, Fidelity, or any of these major asset managers that gets the green light for a spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States, they're going to have to be holding on to the underlying asset. So can you say supply shock, send it? Let's freaking go because game on. There is a very limited amount of Bitcoin and the long-term hodlers will not sell it. So what my long-term hodlers that make some noise in the comments right down below. Now let's break down our next story of the day that the Bitcoin price action is likely to continue to gain over 2x per year, according to Dan Moorhead of Pantera Capital. Let's break this baby down and be sure to smash that like, fam. I greatly appreciate it, especially if you're getting value out of the show. Now, Pantera Capital CEO, Dan Moorhead, what a OG name, just saying, <laughs> thinks Bitcoin's uninspired price action over the previous two years has just been a temporary deviation away from Bitcoin's larger growth trend. Moorhead, again, brilliant name, says in a new interview with CNBC, he expects Bitcoin to resume its explosive price gain soon. Quoting him here, Bitcoin has a 14-year trend growth of 145% per year. That's kind of my general forecast. It'll just restart that, and every year, it'll more than double. Very powerful. Numbers don't lie, fam. Bitcoin is up, I mean, from 
inception to the all-time high, that's 69 million percent. And again, in the last 14 years since its inception, it's been growing on average uh, 145% per year. Not too shabby. Now, Moorhead says his view is that the blockchain sector is in the midst of a 20-year secular bull market. He predicts Bitcoin's upward arc will eventually level out when everyone owns it. Let's go. And in terms of other asset classes, the CEO thinks that equities are currently overvalued. Real estate is coming off the all-time highs. And allocating money to bonds is pretty dangerous. He predicts equities will go down for the next few years. Quoting him again, that does leave a couple of asset classes like the real commodities and blockchain. Blockchain is a trillion dollar asset class. Most institutions have essentially zero exposure right now. They should dial it up to a couple of percent. Now, you do the math, fam. If some of those largest asset managers, the $4.5 trillion Fidelity, the $10 trillion BlackRock, all of them just allocated a modest 2% into Bitcoin, how much volume that would bring to the market cap. Game on. Let's freaking go. Now, let's discuss our next story of the day. And before we dive into this, this is a brand new story never shared before. You can see published October 7th, which is today. Spot Bitcoin ETFs can send the Bitcoin price skyrocketing by over 3,200% to $920,000 per coin, says Invest Answers. And I break down his timeline. But first, I want to break down this throwback prediction, which he shared back in August of last year. Check it out. Headline, BlackRock and Coinbase deal can trigger a Bitcoin burst to 773000 per coin. Now, this was before any announcement of BlackRock stepping into the scene with a spot Bitcoin ETF. This was just based off the partnership between BlackRock and Coinbase. So I want to share this throwback, and then we'll dive into the latest with the 920000 price prediction just recently shared. So yeah, popular analyst breaks down how the partnership between the two financial giants can trigger a Bitcoin explosion to 773000 per coin. Send it. Let's freaking go. Now, we know when Coinbase made this announcement, it would team up with BlackRock. We know Coinbase is the largest crypto exchange in the United States, and BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world. Then we had Invest Answers tell his YouTube subs that the partnership would boost the Bitcoin market cap by a trillion dollars at the very least. Quoting him here, if BlackRock puts a half a percent of their assets under management into Bitcoin using my multiplier, which is 21x, that will impact the market cap by 1.05 trillion dollars, which will add about $75,000 to the Bitcoin price, taking it to 98000 per coin. And ROI, return on investment from today's price, is 326%. And he goes on, this is very, very achievable. Now, if they allocate 1%, which of course will take time to get to that level, that could add about $2.1 trillion to the market cap, $150,000 to the price. And that would take the future price of Bitcoin to 173000 which is a 652% gain from here. Now, if they add 5%, pay attention, fam, which is what Dan Tapiero says, I think it is way too aggressive, but maybe over time, maybe in the next three to five years. Yeah, easy, fam. That could be possible. That would take the price of Bitcoin to $773,000 per coin in the next three to five years pretty easily. Now, Dan Tapiero, he is the founder of 10T Holdings. And according to the prominent macro investor, the deal between BlackRock and Coinbase can propel the Bitcoin price to 250000 per coin. Quoting him here, chart that got BlackRock excited about the partnership with Coinbase. There is no bigger a macro opportunity for BlackRock than acting to facilitate Bitcoin adoption. A 5% shift into BlackRock assets is $500 billion. That's greater than the Bitcoin value today. Yeah, that's right. We had double the market cap. The catalyst for the path to $250,000 plus post Bitcoin halving is becoming clear. So there you have it, fam. I mean, asset management giants, juggernauts, as I should call them, of Fidelity, BlackRock, etc. They control so much money and assets under management. It is game on. Now let's break down Invest Answers bullish $920,000 Bitcoin price prediction because he says we're going to hit this price a lot sooner than many of you anticipate. Let's break it down. This is brand new prediction. The anonymous host of Invest Answers predicts that the approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF will trigger massive inflows from the Wall Street 
great giants. Send it. Let's go. He shares with his half a million YouTube subs that investing giants, Fidelity Investments, Charles Schwab, Citadel, Deutsche Bank, BlackRock, Numera, Franklin Templeton collectively have $25.22 trillion worth of assets under management. As you can see here in this chart, enter Wall Street with a half a percent of the assets under management allocation over one year and over five years. As you can see, Fidelity Investments has $4.5 trillion, Charles Schwab, $7 trillion, holy moly, Citadel, half a trillion, Deutsche Bank, a trillion, BlackRock, $10 trillion. Uh, insane numbers, fam. And again, that's a total wealth of over $25 trillion coming from the major asset management. Now, according to the analysts, if the seven Wall Street firms allocated just half a percentage point of their assets under management to a spot Bitcoin ETF in the first year after the April 2024 Bitcoin halving, then Bitcoin can surge by approximately 3,219% from the current levels in less than a decade. Let's freaking go. Quitting him here. If the Wall Street giants allocate one half a percent of assets under management that many believe they will probably do very easily, especially with the connections of pension funds, et cetera, that need some type of alpha to dig their pension funds out of the hole or else they're just going to go backward and become defunct. This is the assumption that half a percent of assets under management goes in the first year from April 2024 all the way up. And if this happens for that first year, the demand will spike for the price of Bitcoin by April 2028, right? That's just two halvens away, fam. And again, assuming that just that half a percent allocation happens within the first year and another half a percent in the second year, et cetera, et cetera, that will take us to the price of $920,000 per Bitcoin in the year April 2028. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the analysts. And as you can see in this chart, the next cycle, minimum performance in a smooth line, assuming Wall Street just allocated a half a percent of their assets under management per year is going to lead us to $920,000 per Bitcoin by April 2028, literally two halvings away. Now on when the Wall Street giants can start buying Bitcoin, should spot Bitcoin ETFs get the green light? Here's what the analyst says. One of the senior executives from BlackRock said they will get the spot ETF in the next three to six months. And as I have said, it has to be before the halving. BlackRock doesn't want to come in after the halving. They know when the fireworks are to go off. Preach. We all know, fam. And to watch this video analysis done by Invest Answers, the Bitcoin price is likely to hit $920,000 per coin by April 2028. Uh, check the show notes below the video in the description. And let me know how high do you think the Bitcoin price action is likely to soar for this cycle peak? I personally predict it's going to occur sometime in 2025, I believe 2024 next year, year of the halving and year of the ETFs finally getting the approval in the United States. We hit all time highs, but I think we hit that cycle peak the following year. And I love Max Kaiser's interim short-term price prediction of 220000 per coin. But personally, I feel that is very modest. To say the least, I can see a multiple six-figure Bitcoin price easy peasy for this cycle peak. But what's your thoughts, fam? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now let's dive into our live Q&A session. Shout out to everyone out there in the live chat. Mega Don, what it do? JJ, Leonard Ray, Zero Dollar G Row, Johnny Rico, Krista Moore, what up? Passive Income AI, relaxing and meditation music. Bud Conklin, welcome, fam. I appreciate all the support. As always, Digital Dankness, welcome, fam. Shout out to our moderators. Shout out to Bitcoin Maximus. Shout out to Knox Bill. Shout out to Kevin. Kevin Zuninga. Bitcoin is freedom under control. You already know. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending upon what side of the world you're tuning into the live show. Shout out to Relaxing Meditation Music. Says, yesterday I bought another 4,000 worth of BTC. Way to be stacking those sats just in time for sat stacking Saturday. Well done. Let's get it. Looking forward to a price jump, says Evan Ribeiro. We'll send it and let's freaking go. About time you showed up, JV. Looking at my watch. Well, I appreciate that passive. I appreciate the ongoing support. Much love, much respect. Bud Conklin, what it do? Good to see you, bud. Appreciate it. Much love. Shout out to everyone who retweeted the show before the live began, including Max Kaiser, the high priest of Bitcoin. Shout out to Invest Answers. I appreciate the support as always. Whether it be a slow, gradual slope up and some nasty cliffs, so be it. Get my skis ready. Send it. Let's go. Let's get this party started. Good morning, Crypto News Alerts. Checking in from the laundry mat in Japan. Massive shout out to Zap 
Ingram from Japan because we all need Bitcoin and clean clothes. That's a given, 100%. Smashing that like button because we already know it's going to be a damn good show. Thanks for your faith in me, Zap. I appreciate that. And hopefully you got a tremendous amount of value out of today's episode. Shout out to DCA Bitcoin, no alts. Good to see you, family. Shout out to Clearwater. This world is precious. Everyone have good health, happy, and safe travels. Much love, much respect, DCA. Just got a Bitcoin alert on Google Play. Not bad. 10 free alerts and pay four bucks a month unlimited. I'm liking it. It calls my phone. Good to note. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, you know I mean, much love, fam. West Palm Beach, Florida, in the building. Evening, JV from the UK. Appreciate that. Good evening from Cornwall, England. Shout out to Fairground Fun Fairs in the UK. Moonshine Fuel, bullish, I guess. You already know we always bullish here. 420 on the approach. Well, you need to celebrate that. We take hits from the Hopium Bong here at Crypto News Alerts. Happy Saturday afternoon, Cushy. I appreciate that. As you know, we're seven days a week. And after this live stream ends on YouTube, the party, the after party continues on Rumble. We're gonna be having a JV React session. I already have on my soundboard a bunch of audio clips we're gonna be sampling and I'm gonna be reacting to live, including some new Andrew Tate audio clips, some Tristan Tate audio clips specifically on Bitcoin, a new Gary Gensler song from Little Bubble, which you guys are going to love. Uh, and then, of course, we got Charlie Munger hating on Bitcoin I'm going to be reacting to and all sorts of good stuff. Joe Rogan on Bitcoin, uh, the clip that we mentioned earlier in the show. And again, if you want uncensored live JV, make sure to follow me over on Rumble in the YouTube live chat. I already pin the link so you can join us as soon as this live stream broadcast officially is over. Much love. Matthew Bate, what it do? That's right, passive. This is pod episode number 1424. Wild to say that because of how fast time truly does fly. Wes Russell, what it do? Floridians working in Illinois, yo. Love the show. Appreciate the support, yo. Much love, much respect. Seems to be a reason why they're delaying the spot. Could be to delay the massive inflow of capital. I think it allows their homies on Wall Street to position themselves on the low. You know what I mean? If you were black, BlackRock and you have access to $10 trillion and you can start buying Bitcoin, would you rather purchase it in the 20s or at all-time highs? You know what I mean? In the 70s. You know what I mean? So there are probably probably already accumulating in mass. I think a lot of these major asset managers likely are already accumulating BTC because once again, once the ETF gets the approval spot-wise, they're going to have to be holding on to the underlying asset in order to offer it as a product. Now, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust kind of already has the first mover's advantage because they already hold over 600,000 BTC. That's why it makes a lot of sense for the SEC to give them the green light to convert their GBTC product into the spot Bitcoin ETF. But we'll see how all that likely plays out. It'll be interesting to say the least. And then we all know, what if they all got approved around that same time? Competition is a beautiful thing, especially for our nascent crypto market. You know what I mean? Satwise Jenks, welcome fam. Short-term hodler supply at the all-time lows, long-term hodler supply at the all-time highs. Great point. Something will break, and when it does, rocket ship to the moon. On-chain metrics for the win. Well said, Cushy. Much love, much respect. Watch the DXY. Looks like it's going to break down. yippee ki -yay. That's right. The DXY, which is the U.S. dollar currency index. You really didn't have to be in that long to make really good gains as far as investments go. It is a great performer. The best performing asset in human history, my friend, is Bitcoin. How's it going, says Elmer Posada. It's going well. I appreciate you even asking. It's a beautiful day around 4.33 p.m. here in Puerto Rico. I'm broadcasting live, sat, stack, and Saturday. Crypto News Alerts live show each and every day, seven days a week. It doesn't get any greater than this. I appreciate everyone's continued ongoing support. Much love. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for hitting those bell icons and turning on notifications. Much love. Excited, says Rivero. Got my whole coin and now hodling on for dear life. Well done, Evan. As you know, there's roughly 50 million millionaires in the entire world, and there's le you know there's going to be less than 21 million Bitcoin as they finite limited supply as millions are lost and gone forever. So hypothetically, just say there's only three million lost. That leaves us with a total supply cap of 18 million. So not even half the millionaires in the world will be able to say what Evan Rivero just proclaimed. Yo, I'm a whole coiner. Let that sink in, fam. You know how early we are. 
It's insane. 60% Bitcoin dominance, dude. That's an excellent projection there, sat-wise. I remember when the Bitcoin dominance was, you know, north of 70%. I think it has the potential to do so. And I think the line in the sand is that 50% mark. Once Bitcoin surpasses that, which could be by tomorrow, potentially today, maybe later on the week, very soon, then the 51% attack versus the alts continues. And we'll see how high we're likely to climb for the Bitcoin dominance this cycle. I do believe Bitcoin dominance will continue continue to climb, eating away at the alts, including Ethereum. You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts, fam. I found a crypto miner. Now I'm making crypto. Thanks for everything going live, the live streams. You're very welcome, Matthew Bate. Glad you're doing your thing and keep stacking them sats. Congrats, fam. I couldn't even think about me having a second super rare asset. All the banks and rich people are going to buy them all. Anything is possible. Keep Keep using that imagination and taking uh, laser focus action towards your goals, fam. Kelvin Watson finally made it to the live. Welcome, Kelvin. What it do, fam? Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks, everyone, for the congrats. Felt like a true crypto investor. You are a true crypto investor, Evan. Well done, fam. You're uh, leading by example. Everyone should be a whole coiner. You know what I mean? Unplug from the fiat matrix. Just say no to CBDCs. Happy sat day. Thank you, Dankness. Happy Sat Day, everyone. I like that. We should rename Saturday to Sat Day. What do you guys think? Uh, bullish all the way. October, let's blast through that 30,000 level. Get it. Gold, 7% decline in the last two weeks. That's because gold and precious metals are manipulated like a mofo. No true price discovery whatsoever. Never will be. Just FYI, right? Gold undermines the dollar. They need to suppress those price actions to keep their U.S. dollars in the in the Ponzi scheme. They don't want you to take your dollars out of the bank and put that into precious metals now, do they? So they have to suppress the price. 137,000 is very possible, says Steve Kingston, 100%. Uh, Carl says 137 is totally doable next year, 100%. I'm with you. I like that number. Let's go. 900,000 per coin by 2030, says $0 G row. Send it. I mean, this could happen by 2028, according to Invest Answers, and that's just with a half a percent of the behemoths, uh, the major asset managers just allocating a half a percent per year. Surprised that you do not have over a million subscribers, says Yo Yo, because you're one of the best crypto YouTubers out there. Thanks, JV, for the daily updates. That's because I have been shadow banned. I hit over 50,000 subs on this channel back in 2020. Three years later, thousands of episodes later, I only have 58,000 subs, but hey, I'm still here. They're not going to get me down. So that's why we're now on Rumble as well. I think Rumble has the potential to hit a million followers before I can hit a million on this main channel. We also just recently launched the Clips channel where we're taking shorts and clips taken from the daily live stream, putting them exclusively on the Clips channel. If you're not already subscribed there, be sure to subscribe at Clips cryptonewsalerts.net and we just also just launched the Espanol dedicated channel where all the content is dubbed 100% in Espanol which can be found at espanol.cryptonewsalerts.net and also I encourage everyone to join our Discord at discord.cryptonewsalerts.net and plug into the Crypto News Alerts fam a lot of exciting things going on in there of course zero dollar G row Rogan's on board PBD was just orange pill, Tim Pool, RFK. Seems like the garnering of attention is having the domino effect. You already know. They can't keep it a secret forever, right? Rogan has been a hodler for quite a while. That's right. He has at least $100,000 in Bitcoin, which we know of. 69% dominance. Let's crank that mother up. <laughs> you already know. Sold my first house in BTC. That's what's up, passive. Love to hear that. There have been many headwinds for BTC, and it has held up pretty damn well. Imagine what it can do if it isn't weighed down by governments and FUD. Touche. You make a great point there, Boz, 100%. Something to think about. Some food for thought. Sailor. That's right. I think Michael Sailor needs to have a sit down with Elon Musk. Interesting. Joe Rogan is already orange pilled. He just doesn't know it yet. I mean, he had Andreas Antonopoulos on the show how many times? So he also must be orange pilled to a certain extent, right? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he told us he is holding 50,000 BTC or more. Yeah, also, when Rogan got that Spotify deal, that's a hundred million dollar deal. Correct me if I'm wrong. It may have been for five years of content, three years, I don't know precisely, but that's 
a lot of money. If you got a lump sum, let's hypothetically say, of $100,000 today, what would you do with it? Would you put 100,000, I mean, my apologies, $100 million, would you put all that in a bank account knowing the government can just seize it at will? Yeah, you're only insured for up to 250,000, so who in their right mind would put over a quarter of a million dollars in a bank account? Nobody with a half a brain. So where do you park that money? Hmm. Where is it safe? Bitcoin. So I wouldn't be surprised, as uh, you just pointed out, Rogan could be a big hodler of Bitcoin. You never know because you don't got to tell anybody. You know what I mean? So let me know your thoughts. How much Bitcoin do you think he currently holds? Had a contract for deed. He paid the balance off, but still. Well, that's what's up. Good to note. JJ, what it do? I got my Bitcoin picture. That's what's up, JJ. GBTC decision on Friday the 13th. Oh, snap. This the 13th, October the 13th. That's what's up. Bitcoin to the moon, grayscale. Who do you guys think will be the first asset manager to get the green light and get that first mover's advantage? Let me know. Grayscale, BlackRock, ARC21, Fidelity, Hala, Schwab. Not a chance people would be trillionaires. Word. Pumping in the gym. Pump, pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Shout out to Game Dudes. Get it in. October 13th and the 16th, both the big days. Well, that's around the corner. Hey, yo. Moorhead, <laughs> Dan Moorhead, best, yeah, best name ever. Supply shock, let's go. Had a kid, some candy, we'll hold it for long. Smash that like button, thank you, Rudy. Moonshine fuel, bonds are dangerous, probably right considering what is backing the bonds. JJ says 86%, is that your Bitcoin dominance prediction? Holy moly, could you imagine 86% Bitcoin dom? A lot of these alts are gonna go out of business, just saying, many will never return to their all-time highs. Some people like derivatives until it stops working. I think the market makers and uh, everyone except the investors love derivatives because it can be controlled and manipulated naturally. They can't do that with the spot ETF because it's going to be true price discovery, hence why they haven't allowed it yet and they've been suppressing it. You can thank uh, the chairman, Mr. No Clarity Gary, for that one. I have 18000 invested into Bitcoin, says JJ. Word up. That makes you more than a half a Bitcoiner, almost a whole coiner. Keep stacking them stats. Kelvin Watson, I'm, I've chosen Sailor to Orange Pill. Anyone, good choice. Can't go wrong with that choice. I want to be a millionaire. Well, keep stacking them stats and hodl. Have patience. Anything is possible. Derivatives suck eggs and keep the assets on hold. You already know passive. I have 75000 worth of Bitcoin, 20000 of Ethereum. Let's freaking go, says Big Zoski. Congratulations, Big Zoski. Well done. I would eradicate derivatives if I could. Gone. Amen. Dollar zero. I have 100000 in Pepe. Oh, word. Where is Pepe at nowadays? Big Bizoski spot buys only. If we ditch leverage and just bought spot, we'd all be rich by now. Very nice. Big Zoski getting a lot of clout. Yeah, I guess uh, that makes me a minnow, not a whale. Megadon, I have zero BTC. Lost it all in a boat and accident. How many can relate to Megadon? How many of you lost all your Bitcoin in an alien abduction? Maybe you lost it due to global warming. Maybe you lost it in a boat and accident out canoeing, out on the jet skis. Maybe you're taking a number two, dropped it in the toilet, accidentally flushed. It happens to the best of them. So if you've lost your crypto, let us know about it because you don't got to feel alone. It happens to the best of us. Just saying, fam, anything is possible with global warming. Global warming is so real, you can lose all of your crypto overnight. Forget where you put it. It's just the nature of the beast. Sorry is what it is. I don't know where it went. Global warming advertising, <laughs> how much Bitcoin you could be is a bad idea. Just saying, yeah, you don't need to advertise how much Bitcoin you have, but it's a free world that can't stop anyone from sharing. If Bitcoin skyrockets, I'll buy chrome rims for my car. <laughs> I lost my Bitcoin too on my stolen computer. Oh, well. Oh, just like Alex Jones, he lost the 10,000 Bitcoin allegedly that Max Kaiser gifted him on a computer. Alex says, uh, you know, I got rid of the computer. I didn't know any better. I didn't think this Bitcoin would do anything. Yeah, so you're not alone. <laughs> Bud, what up, man? FOH, what it do? OG Backroad Crypto Bootleg in the building. I'm interested to see the price before the halving. That will be 
telling. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think we're likely to climb towards the all-time high leading up to the halving, but I don't think we surpass the all-time high until pro, I mean post-halving. Let me know your thoughts. Puerto Rico party coming up next year, more than likely. And if you're not already a part of the Discord, I encourage you to join discord.cryptonewslers.net. There's a channel called 100,000 Fiesta specifically for the Puerto Rico Fiesta party. When Bitcoin surpasses six figures, you're all invited. We're already masterminding ideas. It's going to be a blast. So make sure to plug in. Now, what if the game plan was to hype everyone with a potential spot ETF and then deny it to crash the price? Brother brought this up yesterday. You could put, I mean, anything's possible, but even without the approval of an ETF, you still have the Bitcoin having, right? Wall Street doesn't need, I should say, yeah, Wall Street needs Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't need Wall Street, right? The ETFs need Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't need the ETFs. That's fact. Bitcoin hit 69,000 without the institutional love, right? No ETF doesn't matter. We still hit 69 grand. So even worst case scenario, no spot Bitcoin ETF approval. Gary Gensler admits he's the devil. He's having sex with Satan, whatever the case may be. And uh, Bitcoin will still do its thing. Nothing can hold that back. And it's inevitable. So we shall soon see. But those are my personal thoughts. Let me know yours, fam. When Bitcoin goes crazy, I'll just buy some dope brims on my teeth. Just kidding. I will leave Cali probably. Probably a good idea. Depends on the interest until the devs of XRP dump all the gains on everyone else. Buy the dip. Good crypto rap song. BTFD. Okay. Leonard, shout out to you. I will be 74 in 2028. Word up. Thankful to be here now. Looking forward to seeing $920,000 Bitcoin. Shout out to DCA Bitcoin No Alts. Zero dollar G row. What to do? I'm about to have a session myself. So I'll see y'all on Rumble. That's what's up, Johnny Rico. Head on over to Rumble fam. We're all going to be there in a moment together. Live. I'm already there, but I mean, for those of you on YouTube, you got to crossover. Lived in California in the 60s and 70s. Haven't looked back. Get out ASAP says uh, passive. Charlie is an old timer. He owns an underwear factory, not his wheelhouse. You talking about Charlie Munger or Charlie Brown? HBAR, Bitcoin and XRP says Chris Masick, word up. So when the ETF goes live and people start cashing out huge profits, who will this affect? The banks, asks Sterling Q. Cushy, drink. Oh, thank you, fam. Mm-mm-mm. High quality H2O. There's nothing else like it in this world. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cashing out for what? Sterling, Bitcoin for USD? Excellent stats, word. Zero dollar G-Ro, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't an ETF not an actual purchase of Bitcoin, but the supplier of the ETF is required to purchase it? I think you're right there, brother. The more valuable coin base, the more hodlers are incentivized to hodl longer. 1,000 net worthers will sell their 0.1 BTC. My prediction is one quadrillion per stat. I dig it. D gun. L professor, my target is one ETH. I am a humble investor. Word up. Are you satisfied with one ETH? I don't know if that's going to change your life, but to each their own fam. JJ, 130,000 could pay off my townhouse. Word up. ETF come only in April. Send it. That's right in time for the halving. We got the Bitcoin ETF coming. We got the ETH ETF coming. I would love to see Dogecoin ETF basket of different assets like stocks whose businesses is in owning or speculating on Doge. Rocket ship to the moon. Says Union Crypto. Word. Doge G Flover. I'm thinking the price will be higher sooner than people will think. Like Arthur Hayes said, 700 Hundred and fifty thousand to one million dollars per coin by twenty twenty six. I'm with you, Doge G Flover. Uh, maybe start a new channel and migrate subscribers to the new channel. I do have a brand new channel. It's clips.cryptonewsalerts.net, and of course now we're on Rumble. We got the Espanol channel. We're over on X. So censorship. Uh, resistance, I mean, the two platforms where we have the right to exercise our First Amendment right, which is free speech. Rumble, X. No other platform I'm aware of to speak freely. That's why you got to join us over on Rumble as soon as this stream ends here on YouTube, fam. Nope, I would pay all the bills and put 99 million in BTC. <laughs> Word up, dankness. Macro is bad until the printer goes. Brrr. Probably the final time before kaboom. Always the first five because one out of 10 will hit. Word up. Is it a good idea to borrow against your Bitcoin? Can I do that? I think it'll be more common in the future as the institutions come on board for sure. It's not going to make any sense to sell your crypto. PML, 
BS talk here with no clue. Bitcoin will not go up like the clickbait, stupid influencer talk like, oh my God. Well, thank you for expressing your opinion, PM Al, regardless. Uh, Poobsyam, the preaching of low liquidity, high Bitcoin has not yet come. Maybe in the next couple of years. Game Dude says, I have 0.11 BTC. Good for you, fam. That's a, that's a very special number, 11. I spy someone who doesn't own any BTC. I spies the same thing, zero dollar G row. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> Sailor has more uh, couth. He would have never been in the same room as Musk. Just my two cents. Word. Do you lose your Bitcoin, JV? Uh, yeah, global warming. Yeah, it's a real thing. Global warming, it's destroying the world. Uh, Bitcoiners are losing their Bitcoin in mass numbers. It's pathetic. But hey, what are you going to do? Shout out to Greta for put, creating awareness for global warming. Saving the world. <laughs> Mine stored on a treasure. Hope I don't lose that. Word, word, word. Sailor already talked to us years ago, and that's why Tesla still holds Bitcoin. Good point. So I have 0 0.04 BTC. I am working on it. Keep stacking them stats, fam. Do what it do. No spamming. You guys already know the deal. Anyways, what we are going to do, we're going to continue with our after party over on Rumble, where it is free speech. I can say anything I want. We're going to be doing a JV React session. As I mentioned, I already have my smart pads already assigned with all the clips I'm going to be reacting to. It's uncensored. So if you like, you know what I mean, adult language, this may be for you as uh, the YouTube show is, you know, family friendly, obviously. And there's certain things I just can't talk about. But anyways, come join me on Rumble. It's rumble.cryptonewslurs.net. Or if you're on YouTube, check the live chat, click that link, or simply just go to Rumble and type in crypto the news alert you'll see the live stream i look forward to seeing you there and let's rant uncensored shall we deuces youtube one love all right rumble family